All right, now that you have a website and you've created a couple of pages, I want to show you some of the other types of pages and then how to edit the navigation on the left in case it's not the way you want it. I'm going to say create page and this one's going to be an announcement page which is a nice way to communicate with your students. Um, it's called an announcement page because the students can actually subscribe to what you post here. Um, if they have an RSS feed reader application or app on their phone or mobile device or even just on the computer like Google Reader, um, they can do that. Test Friday, test info, and save. That makes a new post and if they are subscribed to you they'll get that information. Um, another type of page I'm going to create is called a file cabinet. I'm just going to call this files. It's going to be on the top level. This is a great place to store you know, any type of file, Word documents, Excel files, anything you want your students to have access to. Um, could be even images. Once you have a bunch of files on there, you can also move them into little categorized folders. Um, let's call this Docs. Okay, to kind of keep it organized as you upload then, you can move them, move files into folders. Okay, now you may notice that the files and announcements pages are not in the sidebar. Okay, it doesn't always automatically add them. So now I need to edit the sidebar, and the sidebar is this entire area. It includes the navigation. We can add other fun things to the sidebar, but right now it's just the navigation in there. So if I click on edit sidebar, it takes me to the back end administrative view of my website. Um, and don't be overwhelmed by this. There's only a few things you will typically need if you're just making a simple teacher site. The site layout is the category we're editing and here's the navigation bar with a little edit button. So I'm going to do that and I need to add page. That's not actually going to create a page. It just means add a link to a page in my navigation. Okay, So this isn't how you create a page. It's just going to add it. And I made an announcement page earlier, so there's two of them, but you probably won't have two of them. Um, I click on announcement, and I can move this up and down in my list wherever I want it. And I'm going to also add the files page. And there it is, and I can move that up and down if I want files.